Once you've got everything out of the box, that's what it's gonna look like. First thing I like to do, and I suggest you do the same, read the manual. You've got all the parts set out, check off what you have in front of you with the handbook. Once you're satisfied with that, you've got all the right parts, start putting it together. You'll need two screwdrivers, a medium-sized Phillips and a fine Phillips. Follow the easy to assemble instructions in your manual and away we go. First of all, the blade guard, take the screw out, undo the nut and then mount it on its post. It's a locking nut. If you need to, you can put a spanner on this end. If not, just hold it and turn the screw by hand. The air hose, fit that onto the top. And what that actually does, it blows the dust away as you're cutting. So you can see what it is you're actually cutting without having the sawdust and everything over the top of it. Now fit the batteries to the lamp. Three screws here that have to be undone on the cover plate. Put the batteries in with the negative or flat part going onto the spring. Give it a test before you put the bottom back on. Light works. Screw the base back into place. And depending on the dust extraction system, you may need to put the adapter on the dust extractor housing. And that's the saw component of the scroll saw finished and ready to use. When you want to use the rotary component, take off this dust cap here. Thread on the aluminium boss, making sure that the cable goes into the drive dog on the inside. And screw it in. Check to make sure it works. And you can see it turning. If not, you can feel it turning. When not in use, disconnect and replace the dust cover. It's now fully functional and ready to go.